Okay, go ahead. Look at these salesmen. The only guys, the only thing these guys fear is to walk out. No matter what you say, I'm walking out of here right now. George, may I help you guys with something? Hold it, one more step and we're walking. George, sorry, we're just waiting for David party. He is, he don't know what I'm doing. Hey, my new salesman boyfriend just took me out to celebrate his promotion. Um, where did you go? To a restaurant? Arby's. <laughs> so probably it's a pretty big, big move for you, isn't it? Yeah, I can it. Wipe your face. High five. Uh, David, can you tell me what his Xerox machine is? Oh, sure, man. Sure. Salesman, copy him only right there. Oh, hey, come on, guys. I'll show you the 900. Yeah, you show us the 900. 900. I'm starving. Do you have any of those free don'ts used to soften people up by the service department? All right. Remember, no rust proofing. Commit to nothing if you have to speak mumble. <laughs> or a while, George, you think it can't happen. Don't think it can't happen. So, buddy, it's pretty big move for me, huh? No more grease monkey. I don't care for that term. I saw one. I can do sign language for lunch. Uh, Coco. Yeah, Coco. Right, Coco. That chimp's all right. High five. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on <laughs> on here? You didn't agree to anything, did you? No, we both just saw the same monkey. <laughs> well, I got screwed on it. Don't watch. There were none left. Well, there's a vending machine. I can show you where it is. All right. No. Uh, hey, give me a dollar. Where's your money? I'm here helping you. Elaine, have you noticed your boyfriend has developed an annoying old habit? The squinting? No. The staring? No. He keeps asking me to give him a high five. I thought all guys do that. Slapping hands is the lowest form of male primate which ritual. In fact, even some of them have been done doing sign language now. It's that bad. That's what a Nazi five that's what a Nazi five were doing. Isn't that from an act like ten years ago? It's a relatable in the eighties and still relatable today. Twix. B five. <laughs> Puts a dollar in, it comes back out. Puts a dollar in again, comes back out. Does it one more time, comes out. Ah, uh, come on. A fat guy comes and puts him in there. Uh, excuse me, do you have a change of a dollar? No. Can I uh, trade you for another dollar? Don't have one. Um, excuse me, when your, uh, when your wallet was open, I, I glanced inside and I couldn't help but notice that you have several Chris dollar bills. You're incorrect. <laughs> Perhaps you can look again. Please, I'm very hungry. We had donuts earlier. I guess everyone here enjoys giving old Scoogey, huh? You're all doing a hell of a job. Ho, ho, what I would do with you. <laughs> with you. Ah, uh, I think the candy comes. Mr. Mr. Kramer, we're really not allowed to use the cars when they're Now look, great. I'm very close to giving this card out. My celebrity friend is considering my full endorsement. See if I can get a smile from this family humans. Hey, ladies, it's a Saab 900. What do you think? Can I interest you in a little supplemental restraint? What's the name? I think the candy comes out over there. People drop change on here, Jerry, and they're too lazy to pick it up. Either that, or they got a weird little hangout about lying face down in the pillow. Why don't you just go to the cashier? The cashier is at lunch, which is where I'd like to be. I think something bit me. Just need another nickel. Hey, Putty thinks I should go for a CD player. What do you think? Oh, ho, ho, he's got a live one. He's just reeling that <laughs> big fish egg. Hey, can I have my dollar back? Wrinkled. It's wrinkled. It's worthless. Money goes in the machine. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, it's stuck. He's hitting the machine twice. Come on, jump! They just put out some more donuts. <laughs> they did? Last one. So, have you ever been completely below the floor? Well, I got once. I blacked out. When I woke up, I found myself in a situation where the, car, the tank was full. I know it I never got to think of Mr. Kramer in the road. Now, yep. As you will see, the candy bar is paid for and yet remains dangling in the machine. Hey, it's gone. Where is my Twix? <gasps> what that guy's eating it? Uh, how do you know that one's yours? Uh, it was dangling. There were only two left in the machine. He must have bought one and gotten both. Sir, are you going to buy a car? No. Hey, hey, I see you. That is my Twix. He takes a bite in front of him. Oh, ho, ho. Ho, ho. <laughs> Pepper Jack. Got it. Yay. High five. On the flip side, David, um, don't let me hang it. You're a salesman now. And a high five. It's very grease monkey. <laughs> what did I tell you about that? Uh, I'm sorry, but the high five is just so stupid. Oh, yeah? I'll tell you what's stupid. You, stupid. Well, that is really mature. Oh, uh, yeah? So are you. You're the grease monkey. That doesn't make any sense. I am leaving. Uh, if you leave, we're proof. Fine, we're proof. Oh, so we're leaving. That's right. High five. On the flip side, taking me to Arby's. Hey, where were you? Ah, uh, let's finish this up. Did you two break up? That chick's whack. We're history. Just left out a couple of things. Uh, rust proofing. Rust proofing. Transport charge. Storage ch charge. Additional overcharge, finer speed. Finer speed was all a lot. Yeah, that's right. We got floor mats, <laughs> keys, keys. How are you going to start it? Excuse me. 
I believe you just ate my Twix bar. It was dangling, and when he put your Twix bar, he got a little freebie, and he never bothered to ask why or seek out its rightful owner. First of all, it wasn't a Twix. It was a Fifth Avenue bar. You must think I'm pretty stupid. That was no Fifth Avenue bar. I could see the crumb right there in the corner of her lips. Ah, and there's the cookie, and we all know that Twix is the only candy bar with a cookie crunch. That's just a little nougat. Nougat, please. I think I reached a point in my life where I can tell the difference between nougat and cookie. So let's not just say things. So we both know Robbie's fabrications. You getting old lame there? I know about the fame. This guy. Hey, George, stop me. Oh, last one. Listen, you gotta help me out. A lady party just broke up. He treats me just like a regular customer now. I tried to tell you, but you won't listen. Now, oh, you were gonna get a deal, huh? There was no laws in this place. Anything goes. It's fun, Nicole. Is someone helping you? Stay back. Now... Listen, David, when we first started still, I thought things were going to be different. Now, if you want to play hardball, I got my friend George here, and they can play pretty hard. Ball, George, man it up. All right, putty. Listen and listen good. I need to know the name of that mechanic that walks around here. Big guy, a liar, short name, Sambo. So, George, can we focus on the car here? I'm sorry, I can feel my stomach sucking up against my spine. There, I just need your signature here. And we'll get you that yellow car ready to go. Yellow, I want a black. I can't give you black at that price. George, would you help me, please? Yes, this is wrong. Say it, sister. Just because of candy bar, there was a fall from its perch. Oh, God. Does not apply transfer of ownership. Most saw it. Lambert's not going to get away with this. I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, George. I'd like to report a problem with one of your mechanics. When did you bring your car in? Yeah, right. I'm going to get my car repaired at the dealership. Why don't I just flush my money on the toilet? Sir, what exactly is the problem? One of your guys, Kipper and Ed, short name, stole my Twix candy bar. Are you saying he grabbed your candy bar away from you? He might as well have. I caught him, and his face was covered. And his face was covered in chocolate and cookie crumbs. But you said it was a Twix. Oh, it was. But he claimed it was a Fifth Avenue bar. Maybe it was. Oh no, no. Twix is the only candy with the cookie crunch. What about the hundred thousand dollar bar? No rice and carrot. No grit. No positive. Please. Are you really gonna change your name from hundred thousand dollar bar to hundred grand? All I want is my seventy-five cents back. An apology and for him to be fired. I remember when we used to be able to get a Hershey for a nickel. What's the one with the swirling chocolate in the commercial? They all have swirling chocolate in the commercial. Not Skittles. Dad, I told you you could sit here only if you don't talk. You make your father sit here all day, he likes it. Be mind I have the window. Now what are you going to do about my Twix? Twix has too much coconut. No, there's no coconut. I'm allergic to coconut. I'm not. A nickel. Now here we go. Mr. Costanzo, I really don't have time for this. Now, if this mechanic guy was in fact eating a Fifth Avenue bar, as he claims, wouldn't you agree he would have no problem picking one out from a candy lineup? Candy lineup, only I hold the answer key to their true candy identities. And so, without further ado, I give you the candy lineup. Hey, Will, check it out. Free candy. Where's my candy lineup? Where are all my cards? They're, they're all on the floor. And you, how many Twix does that make for you today? Like eight Twix? No. Hey, this Clark bar is good. It's a Twix. They're all <laughs> Twix. It was a setup, a setup, I tell you, and you ruined it. You all screwed me again. <laughs> give me one, give me a Twix. They're all gone. Twix! <laughs> what was that? There's a mental hospital right near here. All right, Elaine, David, I believe we have a deal here in principle. Arby's no more than once a month in exchange. Elaine comes to your softball game and doesn't read a book. That's not bad. I can look at that. So you're back together. Yeah, nose to nose. All right, all right. That's enough. Let's get back to my deal. That undercoming, that's a ripoff, isn't it, David? Uh, we don't even know. So I'm getting the insider's deal. Insider's deal. High five. <laughs> this is nice. What kind of car is this? Like a Capri's classic. We couldn't just give him one high five. Then where's that? And everyone's doing it. It's like the not so five. Just like that. Yeah. So George, I still don't understand. How is that a setup? And who are you trying to set up anyway? The mechanic or the manager? I don't know. All of them. They're all crooks. Kramer and that guy drive by. What was that? There's a money possible right near. Very near. Yee-hoo. <laughs> I think we stopped. You should probably let go of my hand now. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll think about it. You got my card? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, you guys go Good job. That's too funny. Beautiful. <laughs>